Hey guys, it's time to do the test that you all were waiting for. The ultimate battery drain test. And this time we have eight phones. Eight of the most top tier awesome phones are competing for the undisputed battery drain championship. And not only that, this is going to be a little bit different test because this test will be based on your real life average usage. We're gonna start this test off with the one hour long music playback yes something that i've never done before i will be playing music on all these phones for one hour then we're going to proceed to one hour of instagram and then one hour of facebook that is about the average time a, a normal smartphone guy spends on these social networks for a day so one hour is a sweet time there and one hour of youtube video playback instead of two hours i figure uh, most people don't use youtube that much so and after that we'll have a one hour long gaming session after these five hours of different tests we're going to move towards the camera usage till death now all of these phones are completely charged to 100% and I've set the brightness all the way to the max. There's no extra email account signed in apart from the normal Gmail one. The only connection we have is the Wi-Fi network. No SIM card, no Bluetooth, no NFC or anything like that. It's just pure Wi-Fi. All right, music applications are opened up on all these phones and it's time to disconnect the cables. Okay. All right, guys, the test has now officially started. Let's go ahead and play this music on all these phones. All right, let's go. Wow, that was some really loud music, but anyways, I will see you in 60 minutes. Okay guys, I'm back. It's been 60 minutes of music playback and here are the final results. And as you can see, the LG V30 is actually winning the test. It's at 95%. Mate 10 is on 89, 92 for the OnePlus 5. The iPhone 10 on 85, both S8 Plus and Note 8 going equal end at 92. The Nokia 8 is on 86. And the iPhone 8 Plus is the only phone that has gone below 80%. It is down to 79. It's too early to say who's going to be the ultimate winner. So moving on to the next stage, which is going to be a one hour long Instagram usage. Okay guys, it's been two hours and let's check out the battery percentage. Seems like the LG V30 is still winning the test, coming at 81%. It then is down to 72. The OnePlus 5 is right at the top, but still not at the level of the V30, it's at 80%. And the iPhone 10 is on 70%. Galaxy S8 Plus 78, Note 8 on 76, Nokia 8 on 67, and the iPhone 8 Plus down to 62%. So you can see that the iPhone 8 Plus is definitely losing a lot of juice compared to the iPhone 10. So iPhone 10 definitely doing uh, a bit better job than the 8 Plus. So let's get right down to the third stage, which is going to be a one hour long Facebook usage. one hour of Facebook dominance and you can see the LG V30 is still keeping its lead after first three stages still winning the test coming at 72 percent uh, then we have the Huawei Mate 10 despite having the biggest size the Facebook just killed this poor boy it is down to 54 OnePlus 5 on 71 the iPhone 10 is down to 57 the plus on 69 note 8 on 65 Nokia 8 on 47 and the iPhone 8 plus down to 40 percent so I think today is the day that we'll finally see a new undisputed battery drain champ. But still, we have the most important uh, stage right now, which is going to be a one hour long YouTube video playback.
right, the one hour long YouTube video playback is done. And as you can see, and OnePlus 5 are equal and coming at 61%. They are going toe to toe, leading this test. Uh, the Mate 10 is down to 35%. Note 10 is down to 44%. S8 Plus on 58%. Note 8 on 54%. Nokia 8 at 24%. And the iPhone 8 Plus is down to the danger zone. It is less than 20%, coming at 18%. Four stages are completed. Four hours of continuous usage is done. Moving on to the next stage is going to be a one hour long Asphalt 8 gameplay. Okay guys, the one hour gaming stage is done. OnePlus 5 is actually winning the test, coming at 47%. Then we have the LG V30 right behind at 46, Mate 10 at 13%, 10 at 23, Asset Plus 42, Note 8 34, Nokia 8 at 5%, and the iPhone 8 Plus as expected, it is dead already. So it barely made it to four hour and 30 plus minute time. So um, yeah, these were the five stages you can see these phones are the damn good phones they are still surviving the nokia 8, of course is right at the edge we're going to move forward to the final stage is going to be the camera usage till death all of them are recording videos at 4k 30 fps so uh, again this is going to be till death we'll see which phone is going to be the ultimate undisputed battery drain champ I'm back and ladies and gentlemen you're looking at the new undisputed battery drain champion of the world the LG V30 guys I said it before that this test will indeed crown a new champ and the LG V30 is here to take that crown and actually delayed this test just for this phone to arrive and it arrived in a thug lifestyle and it wins the largest and the biggest battery drain test that I've ever done. Real life usage wise based battery drain test with bunch of different things that we have tried out and uh, it was a tough battle between the V30 versus the Samsung Galaxy SA Plus and much respect to the former champion OnePlus 5. Uh, it was a tough battle indeed. I mean OnePlus 5 and LG V30 they were going pretty close but V30 was just a step ahead of OnePlus 5 and in the camera user stage the OnePlus 5 sort of got uh, heat up while the V30 kept its temperature and it went on to become the new undisputed battery drain test champ. iPhone 10 also performed really really good. It's the first iPhone that has gone above six hours mark. I mean before that all the iPhones were like dead before five hours so this one has gone six hours plus so definitely this is the best battery life iPhone we have on the planet. Here are the individual final timings. You can definitely see that the iPhone 8 Plus uh, was the worst of them all. Uh, for some reason it has gone below five hour mark. The change in the battery drain test uh, has definitely take a toll on the iPhone 8 Plus so I think it's mainly because of the Facebook. Uh, Facebook drains a lot of battery but that is something a lot of people use at least 
on average, uh, a person uses Facebook every single day, at least an hour. So it's a must for the battery drain. And Nokia 8 was okay. The Note 8 was uh, pretty close to the Galaxy S8 Plus in the start, but somehow uh, during the end, it lost a lot of juice. They were like five, six percent difference mark there. The iPhone 10, of course, did a really good job. I'm happy. And also a shame for Huawei Mate 10 with the most heaviest battery, 4,000 million bar, and still having uh, not even making into top three like what is Huawei doing when we have the top three phones the S8 plus and the OnePlus 3D and uh, the new champ LG V30 you can see it's still at three percent uh, I have the display brightness all the way to the max you can see the stuff is still in the background uh, let's see if it's keeping the stuff or not let's launch Asphalt 8 oh my god look at that the RAM management the Asphalt 8 is still running in the background and it's still keeping the battery at three percent guys this is a amazing performance i'm just really impressed and i knew that there will be a new champ in this test again much respect to the oneplus 5 the previous champ sa plus did great uh made a comeback thank you so much for watching this video i hope you guys have enjoyed this please make sure to subscribe for more awesome videos for daily tech videos and share this with your friends because this is the ultimate battery test for most of the flagships that are out there and uh, yeah see you guys in my next video peace out